Hi, so we're here at Camp Quirky, the handmade camper van festival. Keep watching and you can see what we get up to, have a look in some of our favourite vans and find out whether we think it's worth the trip and the money. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing. This was our first time attending Camp Quirky, but we'd been really looking forward to it. Pre-event communications were great. The site was really easy to get to and well signposted. Although it's only a few miles from the motorway, the location was nice and rural with plenty of space. We were one of the lucky ones and managed to get a dog ticket, so Juno joined us for her first real trip in the van. After getting set up, we registered Juno and a really nice touch was the doggy bag gift for her with a selection of food, treats, discounts and poo bags. It really made us feel like it was very much a dog friendly festival. There were plenty of doggy friends for Juno to meet and a separate field which was great for exercising her. With a combination of the exercise and meeting lots of new friends, Juno was shattered by the end of the day. Throughout the weekend, the main central area and the various tents aptly named Ivico, Sprinter, Crafter and Bongo were the place to be. A great schedule of workshops including planning your conversion, electrics, gas, insulation, solar, mechanics, cooking and many more meant there was something for everyone. If workshops aren't your thing, there were plenty of food, drinks, crafts and stalls to look around and areas to sit and chat with other visitors. With Juno drawing a lot of attention, we were never short of someone to chat to. Food and drink was reasonably priced and we highly recommend the French toast dessert. The quirky campus team seemed to have thought about everyone at the festival with lots to keep the kids occupied and entertained. The music performances kicked off at 4 o'clock and went on throughout the evening. We only caught the first few acts but they were really good and the remaining acts sounded great from our pitch. With all the chatting and exploring we didn't actually get that much time to look inside any of the vans on Saturday so we left that to Sunday. So it's the end of uh, Saturday at Camp Quirky. We've had a great day, seen lots of vans, lots of people, loads of people to chat to. The dogs had a great time and the kids have had a great time. This one's ready for bed, um, so we're going to call it a night, but looking forward to Sunday. So after a great day of socialising on Saturday, we wanted to spend at least some of Sunday having a look around the vans. With not only the quirky camper fleet and invited guests, but also hundreds if not thousands of attendees vans that were happy to let you have a look at their builds, there was plenty to look at. Here's a selection of our favourites.
Once again, the social aspect of the event, with everyone happy to chat and talk about their experiences, made the day fly past. And before we knew it, with the kids having school the next day, we had to start thinking about heading home. Staying the extra night on Sunday, enjoying the music into the night, and making a leisurely trip home on the Monday must have been lovely for those that could. So, was Camp Quirky worth the trip and the cost? In a word, absolutely. If you're looking to go to an informative and fun, family and dog friendly event with like-minded people where everyone is conscientious, you can't go wrong. There's plenty of space, the facilities are great, with a sustainable approach of solar power, compost toilets and reusable compostable cups, plates and cutlery give you a warm feeling inside. I've never been to any event with such a positive vibe, lack of litter and general friendliness from visitors and staff. Both our kids loved it and want to go again, which is unusual with their differing ages. Juno had an amazing time with other dogs, owners and admirers, which was great for her socialisation. So we'll definitely be back next year and judging by the growing popularity of the event, we'll need to get those tickets fast. A massive thank you to the organisers, staff, contributors and everyone who said hi and had a chat to us. We hope to see you again next year so you can see how Juno has grown. We'll also be attending Camper Calling in August so it'll be interesting to see how it compares, although it's more focused on music. I think Camp Quirky is going to be a tough act to follow. Coming up in our next video we'll talk about re-registering your van as a motor caravan with the DVLA with reasons to do it and tips to make the process as painless as possible. In future videos we'll talk about van life with children and the apps we use to make van life easier. So hit that subscribe button now so you don't miss out.